Hello guys, KP Shamino here. And in this guide, I'm going to show you guys how you need to kill Adziri with my sweep crit uh, heavy strike build. So I just killed her. That was the first time that I killed her without dying. So I already killed her like 20, 30 times. It's not very difficult, but I always want to have a movie for Adziri uh, without the kill. It looks a little bit better. So uh, it's possible because I just did it. It's not always easy because for a two-hander melee, uh, you always need to stand, of course, close in melee range of Atsiri. Otherwise, you cannot DPS her and she's doing a lot of AOE crap on the ground. So you need to move around. I switched some stuff with the original build uh, in the skill tree with the gems and all that stuff. And I'm going to show you guys now uh, what I switched. So for the passive tree skill, just go have a look at the website. It's under uh, my build, of course. I'm not going to explain. There isn't a lot that I changed. It's just a little bit more DPS. It sounds strange that you come for this boss with more DPS and less survivability, but the DPS works really well. If you got like the flasks ready, if you got like the DPS, it's a really good fight. And you can uh, run out of AOE at the ground. It's not a complicated fight. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys what I switched. So for the main uh, setup, the six link, I'm not going with sweep in the six link for Atsiri. I'm going with heavy strike because I only use sweep to kill the ads that are running to Atsiri. And if you don't kill them in time, they are going to heal her. So I'm going for heavy strike. That means, of course, if you got a six link, you need to switch concentrated effects with a red socket. So from a blue to a red socket, because concentrated effects uh, don't work with heavy strike. And then, of course, on my five link, I just got sweep. So that's a little bit switching around. For my helm, I switched a little bit around too. So the cast when damage taken and the immortal call is still the same. And feeble is still the same too. But I only link it with three. Why? Because I got the molten shell 2020 here. It's not really needed. But if you don't have the DPS uh, or you are not good in running, just put it up. If you go to the, the phase two, that means if you see the four uh, ads coming up, the big ads, I mean, uh, just pop it just before you go and you are like protected for 1508 damage. It's it's enough if you got like, uh, you stand in like an AOE, you got like a little bit damage in, it's going to prevent that. So it's a little bit more security that you don't die right from the start. I'm not sure that I'm using it in the movie after this uh, little guide. So that's not a lot that changed. Uh, don't use uh, Blood Rage here because Blood Rage got one big problem. You guys can see it here already. It soaks four of your maximum life per second as physical damage. If you go to phase two, it's almost uh, useless because there are no ads that you can kill. So you cannot get your uh, frenzies up. So that means that it's useless. So get it away. It's possible that you die by it. So get it away. Then for my uh, boots, I did something dif different too. So I got Leap Slam. I got Fortify. And then I got Minion Life with a Summon Flame Golem. It's really cool if you can get the golem in. He attracts a little bit aggro. You will see it in the movie too that I always get him back up because he got like a split of a second aggro because he don't have a lot of uh, life. Uh, so he's killed really quick, but it helps a lot and it gives a nice DPS boost too. For the flasks, uh, I still got my remove curse. It's a must here to get the warding uh, mod on uh, the, the flask because if you put like uh, enfeeble on Atsiri she's going to reflect it back to you so you need to get rid of it so you need to have this flask with you otherwise you get enfeeble on you and your DPS goes really hard down because enfeeble is a very strong DPS uh, mitigating uh, curse so get rid of it get your warding then I got the bleed uh, to remove it and then I bought this 
uh, flask. It's very expensive. I bought it for 5 exalted, but it boosts your DPS so high. It's so good here. If you can afford it, just go with it. If you cannot afford it, get another HP uh, flask or go with another ruby flask. So because it's all about fire damage here on this boss. So it's very important that you got it. Then I got, of course, a ruby flask. I got a rupee flask with a little bit increased armor too. Be sure that you got like 20 quality on your flask. Very important. So more quality, longer time that your flask is up. You need this flask. If you don't have this flask, you're fucked. Because you are going to take so much damage from the AOE on the ground. That, that you are just going to die. So be sure that you got this. And then of course, uh, get like a quicksilver too. Mobility is very important in this boss for melee, because you need to move the whole time. If you are got very good gear, you can just stand still in, in the face with the four adds. But if you don't have very good gear, you need to move a little bit, get back a little bit HP in. And that's how it goes. I put the flasks uh, on the website too. I'm going to put the, the talent tree on the website too. That's all what I can say, guys. Be patient with this boss. Uh, be sure there is one thing that I forgot. Be always sure that you got the adds to refill your flasks. Because the problem is if you go too hard on Adziri and you come in the next phase with the four adds, the big adds, and you don't have your flask refilled. I got it a couple of times that I died because of that. Uh, you, you need to wait a little bit. So she goes 75, 50, and 25, she goes to the next phase. So be sure that you wait a little bit until you got the small ads, refill your flasks, go to the next uh, phase. So that was it for this movie, guys. I hope that you guys kill it. So be patient. Uh, be sure that you got the DPS in. And yeah, good luck. It's always cool to kill it. I got, I was very lucky. I killed her 30 times with this build and I got four mortal hopes. So that means that I invested like six uh, exalted and I got like 14 exalted back. So it's a really good farm. I think it's very, very uh, RNG wise that I got those hopes, but I was really lucky. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy the movie after this. It's the kill. So see you later. Bye bye.